Welcome back to the Virtual Investor. In this video, we're going to talk about what happens when you're the highest bidder uh, for a property auction on Zoom. What are the next steps? So first off, it's congratulations. You won an, at an auction. You know, your main question is, what do I do now? And a lot of sites have pretty good FAQ sections to kind of walk you through this process. But for, for this video, we'll walk through the Zoom's process. Um, after you win, you're going to get a notification uh, either in the app or the website or an email even, and they're going to ask you to send out, a, fill out a checkout form. So it's going to ask, and the checkout form is primarily high level information on, you know, who's buying the property, what type of financing, what's your offer. And then that gets submitted to the, the, the seller and they'll review that information and to see if they accept your offer or not. And a lot of this information in the checkout form, please fill it out correctly because it end up, ends up going and being used in the purchase and sale agreement if you come to an agreement on the auction. So some things here uh, that they talk about is, you know, are you buying the property in your name or your business entity's name? So you fill that out. You know, how are you paying for it? Is it cash, a hard money loan, traditional financing? You know, if it's cash, they're going to expect a quicker close, uh, maybe like 21 days versus like a hard money loan or traditional finance might be 30 days on that close. And ultimately, what, what closing office do you want to use? Um, that's where you entered in your, your closing office that you want to use. Now, once you have fill out all that, you know, general information and kind of like your proof of funds here as well, if you, especially if you're paying for cash or pre-qual letter, if it's a hard money loan or traditional financing, it's going to go to the seller, aka the bank uh, for us since we've been on uh, REO auctions. And there the bank's going to look at it. It's either going to approve it as is, um, reject it, or do a counter offer. And a lot of the times here, if uh, once the bank reviews they're going to come back to you and they might counter. If they counter, you, you have to respond within 48 hours or you would, or you just accept the price if you're happy with the bank's counter. So those are some things there to kind of think about behind the scenes once you win it, win an auction. And then once you guys come uh, to an agreement, meaning uh, you and the seller, uh, your bid's accepted, you're going to move forward with the closing process. So what the closing process looks like there is, you know, that's where the, the, your team and the seller's team gets together, uh, the different closing agents, et cetera, and they start the settlement process, no different than a traditional home sale. And that way, you know, when you're running, you'll also get a copy uh, of the purchase and sale agreement for you to execute as along with the bank. And then during this time period, that's when you have to send over the earnest money deposit as well. So those are <clears throat> uh, some things to get started immediately after you win on a, a bid at auction. Zoom also provides this nice little checklist here, kind of like a post auction checklist to summarize uh, everything that we kind of went over in the last few minutes. You know, they talk about, you know, filling out the checkout form, you know, having your financing ready, whether it's a cash or you got to get your hard money loan in place. And then, you know, working with your, your title company and, you know, signing the documents, et cetera, and setting up a closing date. So hopefully this video is helpful. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to hit us up in the comment section below and we'll answer your questions. Thanks and have a great day. Thank you.